What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a pretty cool smart lock. This particular one will unlock the door with the fingerprint sensor, but it's built into the handle. So all you need to do is grab onto the handle, put your thumb normally where it goes, and the door unlocks. Now I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So this is the Yamari Smart Lever. Like I said before, it has a built-in fingerprint sensor directly in the handle, but it also has five different ways you can unlock the door. You can use your smartphone, you can use an app, you can use a key, you can use the included fingerprint sensor, or or it also has these little key cards you kind of just put up to the door lock and it simply unlocks the door. Now this smart lock does only work on doors that don't have deadlocks. It's more for like doors that go to the outside of your home such as your garage or maybe your backyard. It, it has everything all in one. It's got the latch, it's got the lock and the handle. It doesn't use a separate deadbolt. The other really convenient thing is you don't need to drill any extra holes. You simply remove the uh, existing hardware that's in your door and replace it with this one. So I will be showing you the app. I'll be showing you all of its features, the installation. But first, let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. So here we have our installation guide and our manual, and we have a little guide for installation. If you do happen to have a fresh door that you just made that you need to drill, but if you have an existing door lock, you don't need to do anything else. Here we have some hardware, our door latch. Here we have all of our installation hardware. Here we get two keys and two of those key cards that I mentioned earlier. Here we have our door latch. Here is the installation plate. And then here we have the internal portion of the door lock. As you can see, it's a nice matte black and it also has grooves for your fingers and it uses four AA batteries to be powered. And then here we have the external portion. As you can see, it says card right here. That's where you'd put that little card up to the door lock and it'll automatically unlock. And it also has keys that light up here, but you won't see them until it actually lights up, which is pretty cool. And there is that fingerprint sensor right there. So when you put your your thumb right there, it automatically unlocks. And then we also have some rubber gaskets for the installation. And that's pretty much it for what you get inside the box. It's very simple, looks pretty easy to install. So let's go ahead and go over the installation. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take all of your hardware out of your door. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your latch here, make sure that this curve is going outside. And then we need to make sure that the little square hole here is in the middle of your door hole and you can always adjust it if the door hole is a little deeper than usual. So it looks like mine is perfect just as the default so I'm going to go ahead and leave that and then secure it in place with the two screws. You're also going to want to make sure that it looks like a square and not a diamond because we need it to be rotated properly. So here is the internal uh, door handle. As you can see, the handle is facing the wrong way. So all we need to do is unscrew this little screw here and then rotate the handle to the other side. So here, as you can see, I've taken the screw out and then all we need to do is rotate the handle to the other side and then put the screw back into place. Now the next thing that you can do is change out the little door plate here. It comes with one, but I find if you have one that works, there's no need to replace it. So you can always try the one you have first. Now here is the outside of the door, and here's the outside door handle. And as you can see, the door handle is facing the opposite way. So again, all we need to do is take out this little screw here and rotate the handle the other way. So now we're going to install the exterior door handle first, and that's the one with the fingerprint sensor. All you need to do is take this little square piece here. We're going to line it up with the hole here. As you can see, there's a little hole. Um, we have a little, a little dot right there. We need to press that in so it goes into that little hole. And there, as you can see, it is, and that won't come out. So next up, we need to install these little pieces here. There's three of them and they simply just screw onto each one of these screws here. Make sure that the flat portion is facing uh, outward like that. Next we're going to install our gaskets. As you can see it does have a little lip. You want to make sure you put that lip towards your door lock 
you can use either one, they're both the same. Just make sure that this little square piece goes down at the bottom here. And then there's also these little tabs that you're gonna put into these little holes to secure it in place. So it should look just like that when you're done. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this through our hole here, make sure that this square piece is lined up straight with the hole here and this little cable is going to go up and over uh, this metal part here. And that's what it's going to look like from the outside. And then here's what it looks like from the inside. So as you can see, I fed the cable through the top and these little things that we installed have come up and over and under and the square is level. You also want to make sure you hold on to uh, this back piece because you don't want it to fall out. It shouldn't if you press it all the way in, but just be careful. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to take that metal plate, make sure that these two spikes are going in towards the door. We're going to take our gasket and put the metal plate inside of that gasket, making sure that the little lips are towards you. And then you just press in these little rubber tabs from here. And then make sure that these two rods go through these two holes here and then feed the cable through the middle of that. So once the plate is installed, then we're going to need to screw in these three screws all into here, and that's what's going to hold the exterior door handle onto the wall. So once you have the three screws installed, don't tighten them yet because we need to make sure that our door locks are perfectly aligned, and then once they are, you can continue to tighten them up. Okay, so now we're going to take our interior door handle. We need to connect the little connector here into the plug right up here. Once it's inserted, you'll hear a little click when you've put it into place. And then just continue to push the square rod into the hole here, and then everything else should line up. Now we're gonna take our little screws here. There's gonna be one hole up here, and two down here that you're going to want to install these into. Okay, so once the door handle is installed, we want to make sure that we can open up our door. And once you're all done, you can go ahead and put your batteries in. So now once the batteries are installed, we're gonna push in this little reset button here with this little SIM tool for five seconds. And then we're gonna type in three zeros and pound for the initial password. And then you can put the cover back on. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and download the app from the QR code here. Just scan it with your phone's camera, and then we'll go on to the app. Okay, so there's the TT lock. We'll go ahead and install that. Okay, we'll go ahead and agree, and we'll allow all the settings. We need to create an account, so we'll click register. Once you've completed that, we're gonna go ahead and add the smart lock. So we'll just press the plus button here. And then we'll go ahead and select door lock. Next, you're going to want to just touch uh, any key on the door lock to start the pairing. We'll go ahead and nick hit next. As you can see, it found the door lock. We'll go ahead and press the plus. Okay, and then you can also name the door lock if you want to. So now that we have the app all installed, the very first thing you're going to want to do is to create an admin passcode. And this will allow you to gain access to your lock with a pad passcode initially and keep you from getting locked out. So now that we're in the app here, all we need to do is go down to settings. We'll go into basic, admin passcode, and this is where you can create your admin passcode. 
All right, so now that we have the app all installed and set up, we can go ahead and go over some of the features. Here, as you can see in the middle, it has a lock. You can touch that to unlock it or long press to lock the door. And up at the top right hand corner, it tells you how much battery life we have. You can send an E key. Now, basically what this does is it sends somebody uh, an electronic key to get into the door lock. You can make one that's timed, you can make one that's permanent, you can use a one-time use key or a reoccurring. So you can send this to pretty much anybody's email uh, that you'd like. Basically it'll send them an email, it'll give them a username and a password to log in, but they must install the application uh, to be able to use it. As you can see down here at the bottom for the timed, you can set a start date and an end date, uh, which is pretty nice. So here we have a generate passcode. So if you want to uh, just give somebody a passcode without them having to use the app, they can punch it in the keypad. Uh, again, you can make one that's permanent, timed, one-time use. You can make a passcode that will basically erase all of the other passcodes in the uh, door lock once this specific code has been used or you can make a custom reoccurring and just to do that I'll show you uh, the one time you can put in somebody's name and then generate and that's the passcode that they can use to log in for the one time so that's just something quick and easy to do again you can send somebody uh, an e-key this is pretty much a list of users that you've sent the ease the e keys for uh, and it'll show you whether or not they've uh, used or installed the the key on their phone you can create passcodes for the door lock as you can see I've created uh, uh, three different users and passcodes for that uh, you just simply push on here uh, you can generate a passcode again just like the other one whether it's one time timed or permanent uh, RF cards, these are pretty cool. It comes with these two little RF cards that you can use to just touch up to the door lock itself and it automatically unlocks it. You get two of those. You can set your fingerprints. You can put in you know, pretty much as many fing people's fingerprints as you'd like. Here's where you're gonna add uh, fingerprints for you know, whoever you're wanting to get into the door lock seems to work pretty quick and easy they also have a wireless key fob which I don't have but you can get uh, you can create authorized admins uh, it shows your records of people who have unlocked and locked the door and how they actually uh, locked and unlocked the door and then here we have our settings your basic information your battery validity period name lock group and admin passcode uh, you can also buy a wireless keypad for this, which I don't have either. Remote unlock will allow you to remotely unlock your lock from uh, a, when you're away from your home, but you need to have the Wi-Fi gateway to be able to do that. I don't have that, so I can't show you how that works, but that's pretty neat. You can unlock unlock your door uh, for somebody who's at your house if you're not home. You can set the auto lock feature. You can turn that on and off. And it is in seconds, so you can you know put in whatever or custom seconds, and the lock will automatically lock itself. Passage mode. This will allow you to set a specific period or day when you want the lock to be uh, locked or unlocked. So if you want the door to remain unlocked uh, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., you can do that per day. Um, and then it'll automatically lock after that time. So that's pretty nice that you can set this too in case you're coming go coming and going frequently through that door so you don't have to keep unlocking and locking it. You can turn on and off your lock sound. There's a tamper alert that you can turn on and off. Privacy lock. This basically allows you to put in uh, a specific code before or after your code that you use to get in so nobody actually knows what the code is you can set the reset button to on or off in case you don't want somebody to be able to reset the lock and use it uh, you can turn that on and off the lock clock you can calibrate the lock time diagnosis in case there's something wrong 
with your door lock. Upload data. You can import from another lock. There's your firmware update. Attendance, which uh, is used, I think, for businesses, but if this is for personal use, you won't need to use that because uh, it's for, I guess, maybe employees and your unlock notification on and off. And then if we hit the little three little lines at the top left-hand corner, you can see your account information, you can add a lock, your gateway messages, customer service, uh, your settings. Again, there's the sound, touch to unlock, lock users, lock group, transfer locks, transfer gateway, your language, your screen lock. That's, this is for your application. Lock requires phone online, hide and valid access, and about. And then this also works with uh, different apps uh, such as Amazon Alexa and Google Home. But again, you're going to need to use that uh, Wi-Fi gateway if you want to lock and unlock your door with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. And that's pretty much it for the application. Okay, so now we're going to add our little uh, RF cards here. So we'll just click Cards on the app. We'll go ahead and add card. You can create the name of the person that is uh, holding the card so when they uh, open the door with it, you know who's opening the door. And then we'll go ahead and swipe our card against the door lock here. And there you go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my fingerprints. I'll show you how easily that works. So you just click on the fingerprints icon. We'll go ahead and add fingerprint, hit next. Here it's just showing you what to do to put your fingerprint on here. We'll go ahead and start. And then if somebody tries to open the door too many times unsuccessfully, you're going to hear this alarm. So another really great feature because of the way that the fingerprint sensor is placed, um, you can actually unlock your door uh, three different ways really versus if the fingerprint sensor was up here. If you're right handed and you want to use your thumb or finger uh, to unlock the door, you got your door frame in the way which is not very conducive to putting your finger uh, somewhere to unlock the door whereas this handle you can unlock it, like I said, three different ways. You can use it like a normal fingerprint sensor and just put your thumb on the fingerprint sensor, unlock it that way, then unlock the door. You can also hold the door handle from underneath, just like this with your right hand, and then put your fingerprint, uh, your finger on the fingerprint sensor and then it locks. Or you can use your left hand and put your thumb on there to unlock the door. So either way, no matter which hand you're carrying things in, you can always have an option to unlock the door. Now you also have the option to use a key in the backup situation. The lock is actually uh, underneath here, which you're not gonna really use all the time, but if you needed to, you simply take the key, uh, put it into the lock there, and then simply unlock the door, and then you can get in. But again, I don't see me or anybody using the key uh, very much, only in backup situations. Another very easy way to unlock the door, if maybe uh, you live in a very cold area where your fingerprints don't always work, uh, or you're having problems with the keypad, you can always use the RF key and you simply just hold it up to the door lock and it unlocks the door very quickly. And then you can also use the keypad, which is not lit up all the time. If you want it to light up so you can put in your passcode, you can simply just hold your finger on there and then put in your code and unlock the door. And it works every time. And I also do love the construction. It is all metal uh, on the outside, on the inside. It does have a metal frame with some plastic uh, due to the battery compartment, but the handles on the inside and outside are both metal. They feel really good, they're nice and long, so they give you some good leverage to open the door if you need. Another really great feature about this type of door lock versus one that uses a deadbolt is the fact that all the actuation is done within the unit itself. It doesn't actually move the latch 
uh, into the door frame, whereas the deadbolt door locks, uh, sometimes if you don't close the door all the way or something is misaligned, the lock, the deadbolt might not actually go all the way into the, the door frame and your door might not actually be locked. Whereas this one, the door lock will always lock um, either by itself or by you. There's no guesswork. You just have to make sure that you close the door and you're always good. So another really great feature is that privacy mode that I told you about before. Uh, basically what that does is it allows you to uh, conceal your actual passcode. Um, all you need to do is make sure that you enter either your, your real passcode before or after your fake one. So if your passcode was 0000, just make sure that you put in those four zeros either before or after some bogus numbers. So if I typed in one, two, three, four, five, and then put in my four zeros, the door will still lock. Or if you put in the four zeros and then put in whatever you want, it'll unlock still that way. So let me show you. I'll go ahead and put in some bogus numbers. As you can see, my door still unlocked because before or after my actual code was still in there. So I'll go ahead and put in my code first and then put in some bogus codes. And then as you can see, the door lock still unlocked because my real code was still inputted before or after. And as you can hear, the door lock does lock by itself. I have it set to automatically lock itself after five seconds from being opened. And then you also have the option to use the app to unlock and lock your door. All you need to do is press on the lock once to unlock the door and then press and hold for a few seconds to lock it again. So this door lock also has an emergency feature where it'll allow you to use uh, things like a battery backup here and a micro USB cable to power up the door lock so you can get in in case the batteries are dead or they're just not working. And to simulate that, I went ahead and took out one of the batteries here. So here, as you can see, the door lock is not working. Nothing is on, so I'm going to go ahead and power it up with my battery bank. Battery is low. Please replace. And then you just need to put in your code. Battery is low. Please replace. Battery is low. Please replace. Unlock. And there you go. Now you can get in. So the door lock also has a little privacy button on the back here to make it quick and easy for you to disable the fingerprint sensor, RF cards, and the keypad. Uh, so if you don't want anybody to get inside your house without the manual key, all you need to do is flip that switch. So right now it's on green. We'll go ahead and flip it to red. And it says secure lock is on. So now when you try to use the keypad, It won't allow you because the secure lock is on and also with your fingerprints lock is on. and your RF card. Lock is on. The only way to open the door again is with the manual key. So I've been using this smart lock now for the past week and I really must say it is an excellent smart lock. I use it for my home, but it's also an excellent lock, especially if you have a small business or maybe like an Airbnb because it keeps track of everybody coming and going and it has a lot of features that you can utilize. And as far as functionality goes, it seems to work perfectly fine for me. I absolutely love the feature that it locks by itself once you enter and exit the door. Again, you can change that if you want, but uh, I sometimes tend to forget to lock the door and I love the fact that it will lock itself. The fingerprint sensor isn't in a perfect spot, like I said before. No matter which hand you're going to use it for, you can always open up that door with the fingerprint sensor if you want to, or you have four other options to actually unlock the door. Battery life also should not be a problem for you. I've been testing this for the past week and I'm still at 100%. Uh, even with daily usage, you should probably get about six months to a year before you have to uh, change out the batteries, depending on what kind of batteries you put in there as well. 
The build quality, like I said before, is really nice. It does not feel like a cheap smart lock. And as far as the exterior goes, it is pretty much all metal. The only plastic you're gonna find really is on the interior portion uh, that is for the battery compartment. Now, like I said before, if you do wanna use the smart lock while you're away from your home, or if you wanna use it with Amazon Alexa or Google Home, things like that, you will need to buy that uh, Wi-Fi gateway. But if you don't care about that, you'll save some money and you just use it uh, from your Bluetooth. Now I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.